Okay. Um, like a lot of other people, I first want to thank the Brain Foundation, the Scientific Advisory Committee, and everybody who actually thought this project was worth funding. So that was fantastic. Um, most importantly, I'd like to thank my collaborators and the PhD student whose hands are actually going to be doing the work and who has had a lot of intellectual input into this entire project so far. So unfortunately she couldn't be here, but I'd just like to publicly thank Renee Pepper because watch this space, she's up and coming, she's very bright. Um, so our research is focusing on as um, David suggested insulating cells. So these cells are oligodendrocytes. Um, so if you think, I mean, as of the old analogy, if you think of neurons as electrical wires, then in order for rapid and reliable electrical c conduction, there needs to be insulation. And oligodendrocytes are the cells that actually provide this insulation. They pr um, produce a substance called myelin. And we know that during aging, you get myelin loss. Um, so why does this occur? Obviously, the, well, the obvious answer is that oligodendrocytes are dying. Nobody has been able to show this other than in development. Um, in development, we know they die by classical cell death mechanisms, um, like apoptosis, as David mentioned earlier. Um, but there's a novel, but it's really hard to catch a oligodendrocyte that expresses the, the typical markers for apoptosis. So we don't think that in the adult brain they are actually dying by this mechanism. So we have, um, we did a bit of research and we discovered that there's a novel form of cell death that's recently been coined, recently been recognised, um, only in 2012 actually, called ferroptosis. Now ferroptosis is actually a iron mediated form of cell death. So you get accumulation of iron, which is then metabolized inappropriately and you get um, free radicals and lots of stuff that causes cell death. We propose that, oligod well oligodendrocytes, we know that they have the highest iron content of any cell in the brain. So it, it kind of seems really obvious when you put those two together that this method of cell death is actually a a potential answer to the enigma that surrounds the, um, the myelin field in general is how are these cells dying? Um, so in order to answer the long term, how are these cells dying in the healthy brain during aging, or the healthy brain, we actually wanted to go to a disease model and that's where stroke comes in. So um, we wanted to mimic the scenario of stroke because after a stroke, after the initial injury, you get death of oligodendrocytes um, and it continues afterwards and that leads to extended uh, neuronal degeneration after the initial ischemic injury. So we have, we developed, well, we're proposing experiments that where we take, um, well, brain slices and stress them and mimic the conditions of an ischemic injury to show that under these pathological conditions, oligodendrocytes are dying by this ferroptotic mechanism. That then leads us to the ultimate aim of showing that these cells are actually dying by this mechanism during aging, which the really exciting thing is that ferroptosis can be prevented by already available therapeutics. So if we can actually show that they're dying by this mechanism, then that opens a whole window of opportunities for therapeutic interventions for a number of diseases which are characterized by oligodendrocyte cell death, primarily stroke initially. <laughs> so thanks again.